depreciation is one of the most difficult concepts in accounting to understand. In fact, most people that aren't accountants don't understand it. So I just want to give a bit of a simple explanation of what it is. It's not dissimilar to a car. If you own a car, it depreciates over time, it reduces in value. And that's the same concept with an asset in your business. So buying an asset, buying a computer, buying a lighting rig, if you were a photographer, buying a piece of machinery. And that piece of machinery, that computer system, that lighting system is gonna last for more than 12 months. So in accounting, we've developed this concept of depreciation. And what that means is simply that we estimate the life of that asset. So if you buy a computer system, you got a laptop, a MacBook or something, then generally, generally we'll expect that to last for two to three years maximum. So in accounting, we depreciate that over three years. What we mean by depreciate is that in your profit and loss account, instead of the whole cost of that computer going through, let's say it was two thousand pounds, we'll depreciate that over three years. Effectively, we slice it into thirds, and each year, one third of that two thousand pounds gets deducted from your profit on your profit and loss account. So your depreciation uh, is going to be a third of two thousand pounds. The remaining balance sits on your balance sheet, which is another video altogether. And de but depreciation is recognizing that the asset you've bought is going to last for more than 12 months and therefore it needs to be written off against your profits over more than a 12 month period. It's really as simple as that, just like your car. Your car might depreciate over four years at the end of four years there's no value left or there's a small value left and then you sell it and you realize that value. Same principle in accounting, it's no more complicated than that. That's depreciation.